Gigi. Hey. Okay, so sh what's happening? One over here, Rob. Well, we're here still going through. Say hi to Lucy, everybody. Hi, hi Lucy. Hey. <laughs> See? So, some of the folks already left, but we're going to go over here and I'm going to let them. Uh, so, we're finishing up the Super Saturday training and I'm going to let you uh, hear from some of the individuals that are still straggling along. We're going through some other um, extra questions that they needed help on, like the commercial and the sun room and different others. But um, this gentleman came from Austin. He used to live in Killeen. He's a, um, a veteran, correct? Yeah. And uh, we're going to hear from him. He's going to give you his name and what he thought about today's training. Okay, Luchi? Okay, Hold on here. Go ahead. Hi. Hey. What's your name? My name is Gary. I live in Austin, Texas. I uh, came down here for the training on Saturday, this Saturday. And it was, it was wonderful. Um, I've definitely learned more, learned more ways on how to put this, uh, get myself out there and, and, and make sure that I'm doing the things and following all the regulations that I need to be while trying to build this company. So, um, Jackie has definitely shown me how to, to make this stuff even more. Uh, my wife wasn't able to come out today, but, uh, you know, I got more information to go back and, and, and give to her so we can put this stuff together to make a, a wonderful uh, training tool for us to move forward on this company. I, I really do believe in this company. I believe in that we, we do have to set the tone to have the next generation have a better future. So um, I'm loving it. Yeah. So the information that you got today, able to know the knowledge on the customer build and overcoming uh, some of those obstacles about the contracts and not knowing what they're paying. Was, was that a help to you yeah, it was, to move it was forward good. and go and gather your warm market and try to talk to everyone you come in contact with? Yes, it was, it was definitely a help to uh, get more knowledge on, to get more knowledge on the, uh, the bills and stuff. And things like that. So, yes, I definitely think it would, it would help. Okay, I, I appreciate you coming out and, and join us next time uh, when we end in uh, Tyler, Texas. I hope you can be a part of it. All right. Very Thank, you. Thank you. Hi, what is your name, sir? Uh, Mark Mitchell from Market Heights, Texas. Awesome, awesome. I'm a U.S. Navy veteran. Great. What did you think about today's training? Good. What did you learn? I uh, learned about uh, the electric bills and the um, kilowatts um, that they charge um, so much an hour and they go in the bulk of the city and how the bill can be reduced by switching the burden. So do you feel that even with our home market, we really don't need some people that we come in touch with, in contact with our warm market, they're really not going to care about how much we're, we're charging or, or Anything because they're, the report that you have, they're going to do it, correct? Okay, so thank you for joining us today and you have a good, give us a Generation B, sir. Generation B. Awesome. <laughs> Hi, Robert. I've had the privilege to work with you over the last couple of months. We've been in touch, uh, text messaging, uh, uh, emails with Ken Olson. He's your upline. And he told you to reach out to me, and we've helped you along the way uh, when the market started. So uh, now that you came to the training, what what impacted you the most on the training? Given up an extra little bit to actually push us to go out and make this business. I appreciate it for helping you out in the past couple of months and helping you with different issues and problems. But this really put it all now we understand the bill, we understand the time we actually want to talk to people, and, and just building those relationships. That's great. Give us the Generation B. Thank you, Robert. <laughs> Thank you. Nick? Come on, TJ. Come on, come on. Now we're going to hear from TJ. TJ today, Lucy, because um, we role-played and we did a lot of uh, uh, different, we role-played on different 
aspects of the presentation and meetings and the ethics and everything. But him, I had him do the presentation PowerPoint so he could practice because he had never done it. He just shows the video, which there's nothing wrong with that. But I wanted him to step up because he's one of our leaders here. So he's able to do some of these uh, meetings at the hotels and in front of large groups so he can be a part of that. So we're going to hear from TJ today. Hey, how's it going, Lucha? Hey, TJ. <laughs> so tell me. Hey. Say again? Tell me, how'd you, how, how'd you do? Uh, what is the training, what, is, what did you think? I put you up there in front of everyone. How, I know it was a little bit hard, and you said that you might mess up, but it doesn't matter. It takes practice. You got to act every day in front of a mirror and, and, and get ready. You got to prepare yourself for your, your team. Yes. Yeah. Um, it, it was a, it was, you know, a, a experience for me. Most times, if I'm going to brief, uh, I go over the brief a few times, you know, before it. Um, so when when Jackie put me on the spot and said, "Hey, you're doing this," you know, my heart got to pumping a little bit, you know. Uh, but uh, I kind of pulled back some of my briefing skills and my time in the, in, the, in the army, and I hope it went pretty well. A uh, few individuals here said it went pretty well. So I was pretty happy with myself, but I, I, I know um, I'm grateful. I know that I need to practice. It's something that I've always said I, I, I need to do anyway, uh, because that was one of my strengths in, in army um, with briefing. So um, it's it's great that I got challenged to do that today, and I was unprepared, um, and it gave me a little bit more confidence after I wasn't prepared. And, um, I was a little bit more more prepared than I gave myself credit. Uh, so you know what, TJ? Um, when you take the challenge, you you get out of your comfort zone, and you get yeah, better. Yeah. And you say, "I can do that." <laughs> yeah, that uh, it's it, it, it's one of those things, you know. Um, and it's one of the things I actually used to teach a lot of the uh, the you know subordinates that I mentor. If you're if you're comfortable then it's not a good thing. You need to get uncomfortable because that's how you grow. You grow in your uncomfortable zone. So you so, challenge yourself every again, day. Exactly challenge, challenge yourself every day to do it. Yes, I will. <laughs> I appreciate that. So what did you think? Did you get a lot of knowledge on now how you can go and gather customers and warm market and just building those relationships? Absolutely. Um, the relationship deal um, was, was, was spot on. Um, one of the things that's kind of burning inside of me right now, um, was when Jackie talked about the businesses, uh, because I spent a little bit of time um, as a mail carrier in Queens, and I used to deliver mail to a lot of businesses, but um, I didn't have the confidence. Um, you know, I'm still, I'm still challenged a little bit, but Jackie's helping me with that. Um, to go out and try to get some of those business contracts. There you go. Relationships. <laughs> I have I have some relationships. Yes. A yes. lot of relationships. A lot of relationships, and a lot of them, you know, um, a lot of a lot of business owners, a lot of people, you know, uh, I relate to them. That's just part of who I am, my personality. So I'm pretty um, I'm pretty confident. I'm pretty excited about that opportunity, and I look forward to it. Thank you, TJ, so much for helping out today. Generation B. Generation B. Thank you. Now we have our friend Leslie that we came to know over at Accelerate and as well as um, at the VPRO. And this young lady was so driven, Lucci, that at Accelerate, all I remember is her hat and her grabbing me, but, but then I got so busy that I forgot, and I was like, oh my God, where did that young lady go? I forgot to, to get back with her, but she didn't give up. She came where we were, she came to the V Pro, and we've become very good friends, and she's so driven that today she will become director. She's already got all her people, Whoa. she just needs high points, and she'll have them today. Whoa. So she welcome our newest director, Leslie Ingram. Yay! Hi. Congratulations! Hey, you, Thank you, definitely. So, was it training? Yes, director. First time, start with the training. The training was amazing. So, for everybody who don't know, I am, you know, a spouse of a dependent. 
My husband is active. I am with the Department of Defense, and I'm here to serve the truth and taking care of our children because my whole mission has always been to be my brother's keeper and to take care of my family. I'm a big family, so to get here and know that you need to share this knowledge and in teamwork and make a dream work and working together, coming together, building relationships. Relationships is what sell physical because they're not buying a product, they're not buying electricity. They're buying us, and we're the ones that's actually pushing this through strong to them. So I just learned so much to want to learn about the site and to be able to generate new customers and be able to talk to other people freely, confidently, and comfortable, knowing what I need to know now as far as getting my revolution guaranteed and looking out to the people that I sign up to make sure they get their revolution because if I build them, they will continue to build me. And I need to know how to make it happen before I can get that fire in me. But now the baby, that fire is in me, and Jackie has challenged me to get my last five. So before she leaves me, I will get them. So <laughs> heck for how water. The woman don't That's give up. That's a challenge. So I, up. I just want to first off thank both of you and everybody, the team, for coming down and teaching us and helping us and supporting us. Reaching out when Jackie is not giving nothing for coming down and giving us her time and her information and just teaching us all of these wonderful techniques. I greatly appreciate it. I can't tell Jackie thank you enough. If there's ever anything that she needs from me, all she has to do is pick up the call. I will be there because teamwork makes the dream work. Generation B baby. Oh, let me get the manager. Now, I'm going to take a break here because um, this gentleman allowed us at uh, Monterrey, Little Mexico, and he's become my friend, and he helped me out. Say hi. Hi. And um, I was telling him that he doesn't want to do this the rest of his life, and I want him to be on my team, and I want him to build so I can make him an extra five to $1,000 a week, right? So yeah. how does that sound to you? Oh, right. Now, what, what is your name? Uh, Francisco. Francisco K. Arredondo. Arredondo. Thank you, Francisco. And he is going to be joining our team. See, that's what it's all about, building relationships, Lucci. We came here. I talked to him. We built a rapport between one another. And now he's going to be on my team. And I thank you for everything you've done. No, you were the Generation B. No, a D. No, no. You have to say Generation D. What is your name? Francisco. Arredondo. Thank you. Okay, we're going to interview the last individual that um, has been my IT guy. You know there's always an IT guy. Wherever you go, you have to have that one person that knows those computers and everything else, even though uh, my computer just acted up. He said it's because it's not an Apple, but, you know. I don't know. I don't want an apple, and for Luz Maldonado and her husband, don't don't give me no flap. I know y'all keep on telling me get an apple, but I don't like them. So anyway, we're going to hear from him and um, what he got out of training today. He still has other questions. We're just finishing up. Whatever I can help with tomorrow, I go again towards West Texas, five hours away from here. I'm going to finish here in Temple today, and then I'm headed out to uh, the West Texas area. So we're Johnny to stay tuned to the B team. But hold on, let us uh, hear from Lau, and then I'll finish up this video. Hi, Lucy. Hey. <laughs> How are you? Good, thank you. So how was it? Great. Yeah, so um, you, you, you heard from Jackie. I'm just trying to, you know, do my part and help her, you know, with uh, help with us. Her, help us. There's no her, no him, no but, I. But uh, we, 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 we had a few technical difficulties today, but we got them resolved. We got the presentation shown. We got the PowerPoints up, and so I'm just trying to help wherever I can. Um, got a lot out of today's training, everything from how to, how to read a bill, how to uh, actually approach customers, how to show the presentation from, from beginning to end. And uh, I got the distinct pleasure of introducing uh, Jackie today, so that, that was a lot of fun. Uh, and all of it was just impromptu. None of us knew what we were doing today, but um, she <laughs> called upon us to do different things. And uh, we just jumped right in and did what we had to do. So we had a good time. Good. Thank you. <laughs> Generation B. Generation B. Thank you. Right. Lucy, okay. So I know that it's all about relationships that we have, but at the same time, you heard from a lot of these individuals today. 
it's that extra training on the basics that they needed, like get out there, change your electricity, go greener, get your thermostat uh, from Ecobee, and then go uh, and make sure you have your website. So that's five points, bundle, and get another customer. So right there is the revolution. And they all see the concept, they all got it, and now they have a goal to work and know what they have to do now because we get paid on gathering customers. That's what we do, right? And building relationships. So it was it was awesome. Um, it's been a long week this week. Uh, here we go for another, the next uh, five days. It's only been five days today, y'all. I know, 20 cities, 20 days. Jeez, Luchi. Okay. Got we can two do more days to go. I know. Uh, yeah. 14, no, 15. 15 more 15, days. 15, 15. <laughs> and imagine all the people's lives we're going to touch, Luchi. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's what really keeps me going. And, and, you, and I know work that much harder because I know that I'm making a difference and I'm doing something to help everyone. And, and by growing Viridian and, and, and putting them on the map here in Texas, because that's what we need, right? And once that people start hearing about it, they're not going to care whether you're on a contract, no contract. All they're going to care about is we're 5% lower than anybody in the market. But it's more than that, that they're going green. We have a green product. They're trying to do uh, make a difference in our world. The climate change is, is, is real bad right now, but they're doing it for, for themselves, their family, their grandchildren, their children. It's just a legacy that they're going to leave. It, you know, once it's gone it's viral, it's, it's just, that's what makes me so emotional. And so because of the vision that Michael Falkwitz had, and that's what keeps me going, Lucci. And I thank y'all, everyone, family, Generation B. We'll talk to y'all later. And uh, I want to say week. something, Jackie, thank you for keep thank on, you. keep on. You got to keep uh, your strength.